seconds away from top rank, like master rank. And that's in four days. And I don't play fighters all the time. So th there's definitely something good with Blanca. <laughs> Oh, please fall. He won't fall. Let's see what happens again. I was saying that's interesting. <laughs> that play my fine game skill isn't cool through. I mean, I was really, really good, but I don't play as much now. I'm so good as content creators go, for sure. Crap. But, um, I was nowhere near as good as I was. Dude, before, I used to, um, like Street Fighter 4, for example. Like, if I entered a tournament, I'd either win or get top 8. Like, I never got worse than top 8. Like, I was really good. <laughs> So, it, it's in comparison to that, you know. <laughs> True versus die. I don't know who that is. But yeah, I kind of, I still want to get master rank with, uh, probably with Blanca. I mean, I'm diamond two with Marissa as well. Yeah. Sneak a little one, aren't you? Sneak a little fucker. <laughs> I think I could get to mass around with Guile as well. Guile's looking quite strong. Marissa, Marissa is a really, really good um, character, but she's really difficult. Like I played a lot of fighters, and I think Marissa is one of the hardest like characters I've uh, I played with. Okay. Like she's so deceptively difficult, Marissa. Big Bird's gonna uh Perfect blink. Claws. Big, Big Bird's going to surprise a lot of... Little sneaky fucker. It's going to surprise a lot of people. Because Marissa... She isn't getting as far as what she can because she's so difficult to play. Her, her spacing and footsies and, and reads she has to make are like... Yeah. She's difficult then. She's like crazy difficult. And she looks so simple as well. She's so deceptive. She does mad dab. That, but that's the thing. Like, you need to do your complete, most efficient combos to win with her. 
because that's how she wins. She wins with her one big burst of damage because she has to make so many risky, like, kind of reads getting in there, leaving herself massively open. That's how she plays. That's why she's so difficult, I think, because there's a lot of pressure on you. You put a lot of pressure on them, but you put a lot of pressure on yourself too. There's a lot of pressure involved Hope with you uh, are doing Marissa. well and having a good stream. Like imagine, yeah, I'm not bad, uh, Georgia, uh, Jordy, sorry, uh, for the nine months. Thank you, man. Um, how are you doing? Like as I was saying, um, imagine like the pressure you're going against, like Punk's Kame, right? Looking for any little thing, any little mistake. Firing lights at you back to back to back to back to back. And you having to handle that pressure. And then when you finally do get something from it, you have to hit your combo. Like, there's so much pressure in it. Like, even so with, like, Guile, who's, like, one of the least pressure kind of characters, I'd say, right? Like, a lot of your game, you're just Sonic booming from full map away. So you don't have that much pressure on you. You only feel it when they get close. Even with him doing that kind of, like, flash kick, what happened with uh, Karba, it just shows you how much pressure they're under. So you can imagine with Marissa, where you have to hit these complete, uh, like, efficient combos. And you need to, like, every every hit that you do get, you need to capitalize on quite heavily. It's like, yeah. That's what your one mistake can get blown up in your zone, eh? Well, we agree to disagree if you want. I, uh, I know Guile. I've played Guile. I think we got Diamond 1 with him in our placement. Um, I think. Or High Clat, whatever. We'll get to Diamond if I played him. Uh, and I know how he plays. His, his risk is very low compared... I, I'd say Guile is one of the least risky characters in Street Fighter. I would say. Because even his Sonic Booms don't have too much risk because of his recovery. I'd say he's one of the least risk, risk, uh, risk ones. He has one of the best reversals, so people have to respect your wake up. And a lot of the game is them trying to get in on you and you controlling the pace. That's, uh, that's Guile. Okay, see ya. Guile's looking insanely strong. Cobb is definitely, uh, gonna learn from, uh, what he did. I was so sure we were gonna win Punk, man. I was so sure of it. Like, it felt like you were at a different level. It felt like he was at the level people are going to get at when they play more and more of uh, Street Fighter. You know, with perfect parries. And I think Punk's going to go back and he's going to start uh, looking at perfect parries, I think, after that match. More perfect parries. Not bad, Jay Lady. How you doing? How you doing? Miscalculated the chip damage, yeah. But the, the, he didn't need to do that. Um, how do you say your name? Um, he didn't need to do that. He could have just Sonic Boom, man. I swear to God, like, if he did any X Sonic Boom... Oh, maybe... Did Punk have Super? Maybe that was it. If Punk had, like, a level 1 super, that might be why he flash kicked, now that I think about it. But again, it is Guile. His recovery is so fucking quick. Daigo's all freaking good, and he's, like, fifth dead. Is he? Is he? Like, I know Daigo's good, but, um... Does he, uh, what's the kind of